I'm actually Irish. Damn, two more weeks. Well, hopefully it'll be worth it. It's really soft. It's pretty decent material, honestly. Outside of the US, I want to go to Australia, Japan, Bali. Those are the main ones I want to go to. Why doesn't it let you? So the doctor said I was 5'7", and then Kate's mom said I was 5'6 half. so I need to measure myself, because I literally don't know. I don't know when I see Kate next. Hello. My birthday is September 20th. Why are you always in a mood? Yeah, Kate's like 5'8 or 5'9. Favorite memory? Could not tell you that one. What's up? Why doesn't it let you? How many piercings do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five. McDonald's or In-N-Out? Well, In-N-Out's not that good. Like, it's not, like, it's got so much hype and it's not, like, that great. But, I'd take it over McDonald's. Biggest dream? I don't know, I've always wanted to do YouTube. I don't hate in and out it just wasn't worth the hype. Starbucks or Dunkin'? Um, it honestly depends. Like, Starbucks has better bagels. Dunkin' has better coffee. Starbucks has better, like, teas and refreshers. Duncan has better, like, sausage, egg, and cheese, though, so I don't know. It just depends what I'm getting. Hmm. I don't know why it says error. Are you always in the mood? What's one thing you want to do? I don't know. It would be cool. Joking, okay, it's Bob Hash Pods. Yeah, they do. Thank you for the TikTok. Um, jewelry and clothes. It's usually like. Clothes would be Zoomies, PacSun. I used to go to Urban, but not really anymore. Um, jewelry. I get a lot of shit from like Spencer's. It's super cheap and it doesn't look like shit. <laughs> so for the next merch thing, I don't know how many more days it has, but it has to sell a certain amount. And like a hundred something people bought the first batch. So I don't really know if enough people are going to buy the second batch for it to send out. But hopefully they do. So if you order it now and don't get it, I apologize. But my favorite piercing, probably my nose piercing. I feel like I would look very weird without it. Yes, Kate left. Summer or winter, um, I'm more of like an in-between, like fall and spring. Because like when it's winter here, it gets really, really, really cold. And I don't like like extreme cold. And then in the summer, it's just so fucking hot. So I'm kind of an in-between type person. Kate flies when she sees me. It's a really long drive. 
Do you ever get a septum piercing? Uh, I think I would look really weird with a septum, but... Have you ever thought for an unusual hair color? Yes. I've wanted to dye my hair pink, purple. I wanted to bleach it, but I just genuinely think that it would look weird on me. Also, I don't want to kill my hair. And I'm not doing anything to it yet until I grow it out to the length I want it because I don't want to hate it again. I want a lot more tattoos. Hello. Thank you for the gift. Why are you always in the mood? I'm a Virgo. No, I've never been out of the US. Why does Kate for such a short time? Um, because she has a job and stuff, so she's not able to stay long, sadly. And same with me. Winter is bad for m Well, honestly, I don't really have seasonal depression. Mine is kind of always. Like, I've just- I just always have it. But it does sometimes get worse in the winter. Am I in school? Um, I am, but I am taking a gap. Because I don't really want to know what- I don't really know what I want to do. And I'm just not in the mindset for school right now, so I took off last semester, and I'm taking this semester off because I'm not trying to do online school with COVID. I'm more of a visual learner. I like being there. Even though, like, well, it just depends. If I am going to do online school, it's going to be my choice to do it. I'm not going to do it because of corona. So I'm not going to school with all this corona shit going on. And hopefully by next semester it'll be done with. Um, and then I'm going to apply to a school when I move, wherever I'm going to move. And then I'll go to school, but right now I'm kind of just working and saving money and trying to figure out shit that I want to do. School is really just not a priority to me right now. No, I'm in college. But I did do my first and half of my second semester as a freshman in college. And I did really good. Like, I'm, I'm really good at school, actually. Like, I'm really smart. Even though I seem like an idiot, I'm actually pretty smart. And I do good in school. It's just I don't care for school at this very moment so I'm waiting for corona to be done and to figure out what I want to do so I can be motivated again um I don't know I want to sleep though and my mom tweaks about it if my dad knew I had tattoos he'd tweak he knows about like two of my tattoos and they're the really really small ones he doesn't know about any of the other ones I was honestly just thinking about getting my associates in college and then going to a trade school because then I'd only be in college for about like a year more and then I could go to a trade school for what I actually want to do so I don't waste years in college because I'm sick of school. Have you ever thought to stop smoking? Well, I only vape, but I did stop for a long time and then I just got bored and I've, I get my lungs checked a lot because I have really bad anxiety. So anytime anything happens to me, I think I'm dying. So I get my lungs checked a lot and they always say I have really, really healthy lungs. So I'm chilling for right now. I mean, I know it's not good for you. What do I want to actually do? I'm really interested in like social media management or um, like marketing or um, being, uh, what's it called, uh, environmental biologist or something like that. Or I would like to like continue my major in art and become like a tattoo artist or some shit, but that is kind of a make or break type deal. So, cause like you could, be like a really good tattoo artist but not get the exposure you need and then you're kind of fucked but that would be a really fun job I think because I don't want like a desk job something boring like that and I'm I'm not like a big money person I don't care that much about money as long as I'm like 
happy with what I'm doing, but I also don't want to be like unstable financially. How do you deal with long distance? I don't. I'm really bad at it actually. I have very, very bad social anxiety and it makes me, um, it gives me, I don't know, I get really, really bad anxiety and I end up, like, me and Kate have a very healthy relationship, but my mind, like, subconsciously, like, pushes her away sometimes because I, um, I don't like doing distance. I've never done it before and I'm just not good at it, but luckily Kate's, like, patient and understands, so it's fine, but, um, it sucks. I don't like it. Like, for a minute, I was, like, really scared because I was, like, oh, my God, why do I have all this anxiety? Like, am I not supposed to be with her or anything? And then we were together, and then everything was fine again. And then she left, and then I got anxiety again. And I was, like, yeah, this isn't her. This is me just not being good with being alone. Because I'm not good at being alone, ever. Did you and Kate break up? No. She just had to go back to Georgia for work. How long have we been together? Almost two months. Yeah, I'm chilling right now. I really just like, I, well, I was like diagnosed with like severe anxiety and a bunch of other fucking disorders. So my, I'm, I always have really bad anxiety and I get really bad panic attacks a lot. Um, not as much as I used to though, it's getting a little bit better, but my panic attacks are so bad. Like literally, I remember I got one, I got a panic attack that was really bad when I was with, um, everyone in Georgia and we were going to meet some people and I was just in the car like dying and then we met them and I felt like I was being such an asshole because I like wasn't talking and I just like had my head down cause I thought I was going to pass out and I just kept going to the bathroom to put water on my face cause I was so hot and like literally like on the verge of passing out like it was my my like illnesses are very physical and less mental it's more um um i don't know it's more of a physical thing for me and i feel like a dick but anyway mine i like always experience it like i always experience at least some um effects from like my mental issues but like there are just random months where it just gets really bad and that's where I'm at right now so besides the anxiety from like a long distance relationship it just is there like all the time so it's just been difficult the last couple weeks but I'm chilling Are you on? I was taking, um, I was taking a bunch of uh, medicine for it, but I stopped because I ended up losing about like ten pounds in less than two weeks because I couldn't eat. Like I was always nauseous, and if I did eat, I would just throw it up from the medicine, and it actually made me very like a lot more depressed and like gave me like suicidal thoughts and shit. So I stopped taking that medicine. And I haven't gone back on medicine because I'd rather just deal with it on my own. Because um, I have, like, my own coping me mechanisms with everything. So, no, I'm not on any medicine at all. For anything, actually. Like, my mom... Honestly, everyone tells me that I have ADHD. And, like, my mom thinks that I've got, like, severe ADHD. Because, like, I don't know. If you knew me in real life, like... It's kind of like that. So, having... Um, like all of that on top of that it like clashes but I'm chilling yeah I went when I was taking the medicine I went down to 114 which is pretty underweight for me and I mm, I stopped taking it and then I got back up
I also, like, I'm not saying that medicine's bad or I'm not trying to, like, shit on medicine for that shit because, like, if it helps you, it helps you. That's good. And I probably just had the wrong medicine, but um, someone I work with, she's older and she told me to just not get on it and to try to do the things that I usually do. Um, so I stopped because I don't want to have to take medicine to be okay. That sounds stupid. It's just a personal thing. ADHD, but I chose not to take meds because it kept giving me migraines. I get such bad headaches constantly. Like, all the time. I've had a headache for the last, like, two days in a row. Non-stop. And it's so bad. See, so, yeah, I'm not a big medicine person anyway. I really hate medicine. Does vape help? Um, No. Same. That's how I feel, too. I feel like I'd rather... I don't want to depend on something to make me happy. I want to do that on my own, even though it's very hard to do so. And I know that if I got on the right medicine, it would be a lot easier. But I don't want to have to depend on something else to keep me okay, even though there's literally a chemical imbalance, so it helps. I'm just not... I don't fuck with it. Yeah, it's not good to stop right away. Your brain gets used to that. You can't just do that. You'll get really fucking sick. It can actually kill you if you take it long enough and just absolutely stop. No, vaping doesn't help with my anxiety. It actually makes it worse sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Like, There are people that eventually get off antidepressants and stuff like that but a lot of people don't and I don't want to have to take medicine for the rest of my life especially since it does have like um negative side effects so I just don't fuck with it it made me so sick for so long like when I was taking it I was literally could never eat I hated it what are some coping mechanisms that help you with panic attacks um I do a lot of things with my hands like I usually like go like like this like really fast and like i like, move around my legs and shit. Like, I just, like, I'm constantly moving that or I, like, tap a lot. Or I'll just, like, close my eyes and, like, just try to breathe and shit. Or I'll just, like, let it happen. A lot of the times I just let it happen because it's goes by faster than when I try to fight it. Because when I try to fight it, then it gets worse. Yeah. Why are you always in the moon? Fuck around, act a brand new. I go to me- I go to work in like thirty minutes. Honestly, when I'm very anxious, but it's not, like, bad, I will just sit on my phone and watch, like, skateboarding videos. I don't know why they always calm me down. I, like, get really focused. Focus. Yeah, if you're thinking about, like, stopping your medicine, you need to go to a doctor before you do that and ask them. I work at Jimmy John's. Um, Going on walks can sometimes help when I'm having panic attacks, unless they're, like, really bad, because then I will faint. Like, I will pass out, so I cannot do that sometimes. Where do I want to move? Honestly, I don't care. Wherever.
Um, I came really close to passing out when I was with Kate one time. Um, I used, well, I didn't used to play, I still play, but not really, uh, guitar, ukulele, drums. My mom's chilling. I was talking to my sister about getting my hair permed yesterday, and she said not to do it because it can, like, burn your hair off, and I don't really want to fuck my hair up anymore. Yeah, I've had very, um very uh what's it called bad panic attacks where i thought i was having a heart attack too my mom almost took me to the hospital one time for it but it was just a panic attack yes i do try grounding methods i will like sit in a room and like name every single thing i see and what color it is for a long time how did you manage to deal with depression better without needing medication um i meditate a lot and i something that's like not healthy is I will focus on other people's issues instead of my own and then it blocks out mine because I'm focusing on others and trying to make them better but that's not healthy but meditating helps a lot I would also work out a lot that helped um but besides that I also like do a lot of research on like my brain not mine in general but just like brains in general and how they work and how like emotions work and shit and knowing that like you can control all of your emotions technically even though it's easier said than done just knowing that helps too so it's just that type of shit why are you always in the mood fuck around acting brand new Is my anxiety better when I'm with Kate? Um, it depends. Am I still going to the gym? I haven't in a hot second. I haven't in like two weeks, but I need to start going again. I just need to get back on a schedule because I was on a schedule and then I started working more and then Kate came and then I went there and then Kate came again. So I haven't really had time to do that and I've been lazy, but I'm going to get back into it soon. I would like to dye my hair. Like, I want to dye it a cool color. I've always wanted to, like, bleach it and then dye it some cool color. But I don't want to ruin my hair. And I don't want to, like... I'm a very insecure person. And if I think something doesn't look good, I will freak out. Yes. I will wake up having panic attacks all the time. But yeah, Kate can help them sometimes, but, like... Depends what it's about. Hi, Artemis. Hola. Alright. I'm gonna end this so I can get ready for work. But I hope y'all have a great day.